What's up everybody, it is Patrick and today I have a brand new video for you all today. So pretty much, um, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, there is, this is the vlog, the second one, and I'm going to be doing, um, the first one's already up, so you can go watch the first one. It's um, pretty much just a video log of me doing stuff, talking about stuff, and showing stuff, all this jibber jabber, but today we're going to be doing a reaction video. Now hold your horses, I know how bad reception has gotten for reaction videos but trust me I know how to react to a reaction video I know what's good and what's bad and I'm gonna give you guys the best reaction possible now this is the first time I'm ever watching this so make sure you guys go like that so this is gonna be a reaction towards Star Wars Rogue One I have no idea what it's about I've never watched this before actually yes I have watched this before I watched it before I was about to go to bed on a school night but I forgot it completely and um a lot of people are talking about it, Kylo Ren, so we're going to be watching it for you guys today and I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. Sorry if I sound not really excited to be in this video, I'm still new to this stuff, go watch the first vlog, alright? It's going to be in the description. I'll see you guys after the reaction, so let's get started. State your name for the record. Jen Urso. Jen Urso. Forgery of Imperial documents. Oh, she's, she's been, um... Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. Forging a signature. On your Fifth grade. At the age of 15. Reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. You can get away with that. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. Lucasville. Is she a bounty hunter? I think she's a bounty hunter. A major weapons test is imminent. Uh oh. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Oh, I see the Death Star. Oh, I see the Death Star. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Oh, who's that guy? Ah, oh, stormtroopers. That guy looked like Will Father Gabriel you, for a second. When they catch you. Oh, and they're older looking stormtroopers too. Break you. From a new hope. Uh, if you continue to fight. What will you become? Oh. Oh, she's an inside lady. Towards the Death Star. Interesting. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. I thought it was going to be sort of a like, you know, maybe like another, maybe like a 2.5. Sort of like A New Hope was going to be like in between A New Hope and An Empire Strikes Back. What happened during that time period? But no, no. So what I'm getting from this is that this gen, forged and signatures from the Imperial or the Rebels, I don't remember what he exactly said, that rebel trooper, but apparently she's being arrested. And so they're putting her up to this job to go inside the Death Star and find out what the fuck is the Death Star. So this is before A New Hope or during A New Hope. It's not going to be like after The Force Awakens or before. It's not really going to have any of the characters that we know and love. It's going to be a standalone film, which is going to be interesting because we haven't seen that before. You Well, you can count the prequel trilogy, but that's just telling the story up to Darth Vader and how the Galactic Empire came up, how Luke and Leia came about. Well, who where was Chewbacca before that? What was Yoda? Who was Yoda? Who was a um, ton of other characters? It was basically telling the story of Anakin Skywalker becoming Darth Vader and his story in Obi-Wan and a ton of other characters. This is going to be a standalone film. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be related to the first to the first couple movies, 4, 5, and 6. But it's probably going to be related to um, A New Hope. I'm hoping that's between A New Hope. And I'm pretty sure it is in New Hope. It's kind of like, maybe she's going in to, like, help destroy the Death Star. She's a rogue, she's a criminal, and she's a badass. You could see her with that gun destroying stormtroopers. 
she's going to be our main character. And I'm positive that she's going to be as good as Rey. Probably not as good as Rey, but it's probably going to be very interesting to see her in the film. Now, as for the other characters, there was this black dude, and he was in this big suit. I don't know who he is, but I'm really looking forward to see who he is. Um, I think this is the perfect time to bring in a bounty hunter. I'm guessing that she is a bounty hunter, or that guy is a bounty hunter. I saw AT, ATs, I saw, I don't know if I saw an ATST. I'm pretty sure I did, I'm not sure. But, basically we saw this awesome battle. Um, I did not see any Jedi. I saw Darth Vader, and I know that's Darth Vader. I could know, I know my Darth Vader, guys. Obviously. Duh. And the suit that she was wearing at the end, I'm confused as to which, what that actually is. I'm really interested to see what she becomes. Could she become a Jedi? I doubt it. I would rather have her not as a Jedi. I'd rather have her be like some sort of other character. But I do believe we need something as long as a Jedi. We need her like have a men shot, men Jedi mentor. We need a Jedi in this movie. It's not Star Wars without a lightsaber. And I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see Darth Vader. And I'm really sure. And I'm really impressed about this trailer. It looks awesome. I've never been this impressed in a Star Wars trailer besides in the Force Awakens trailers. It's one of the best trailers I've seen in a long time. And I'm positive that this is going to be better than the prequel movies. I haven't rewatched them. I rewatched uh, The Phantom Menace like two years ago. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good movie. They can do anything they want in this movie. With The Force Awakens, they did follow a similar plot to A New Hope. And I think that there might be a similarity to The Empire Strikes Back. But this isn't about uh, episode 8. This is about Rogue One. I thought it was called Rogue Squad. I was going around my school saying Rogue Squad. Oh, I'm going to watch the Rogue Squad trailer. That would have been really cool. But um, maybe it's just related to Han Solo. My boy. But um, yeah. So my opinions on this. I think it's going to be a really good movie. I am very positive that they're going to be bringing in some new material. Now that they can do whatever they want, they could take a ton of risks and they could pull it off because it's fucking Star Wars. Star Wars is back. We all know that. The Force Awakens brought Star Wars back to what it was in 1977 through the original trilogy. But now we're going to start back up here and they can start some brand new things with Disney and the rights and Lucasfilm producing the Star Wars movies and J.J. Abrams within it and JJ we trust, this is going to be a fantastic movie. And I can't wait to go watch it with me and my buddy, buddies this December. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments what you guys feel about Rogue One. Is it good? Is it going to be bad? What do you guys think about it? Also, follow me on all social media in the description. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Uh, I don't even know what I have anymore. It's crazy. I'm going to start getting rid of this social media. But I'll be trying to give a lot of discussions next time. I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be the next video is going to be about, but I know it's going to be something related to nerdy stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys go leave a like. Let's try to get five. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Patrick signing off. So long, everyone.